I feel like I'm burning all my taste buds. Yeah. With a flame torch. Oh! Hey, what's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by Lil Yachty. He's a Grammy nominated, platinum selling artist, one of the biggest rappers in the game, and you can pick up his third studio album, Nothing to Prove, available now. Lil Everywhere. Yachty, welcome to the show. What's going on? So I know that you have very particular tastes when it comes to food. You have yeah. a diet that consists of pizza, corn dogs, and chicken nuggets, but you're extending for us today. How are you with spicy food? I, I don't eat spicy food. Never had hot sauce in my life. In your entire life? Ever. You know, you're the first guest in the history of this show and maybe the first person I've ever met in my life <laughs> who's never eaten hot sauce. Ever. I'm excited. That's why I wanted to do it. Let me get right. Grill out. Mm -mm -mm. Six right. piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. It's just, it's just small spice. Mm -hmm. As we touched on in your intro, you have some very particular sensibilities when it comes to food. On a live stream that you did with Ninja, I actually heard you say that you've never had a fruit or vegetable in your life. But the thing I'm most curious about, can you take me through the mechanics of eating pizza every single day since second grade? Well, uh, my mom worked. You know, when she came home after work, she just tired. she'd be tired. So usually, for the most part, she'd just go get a pizza. And it, and then I didn't notice, realize till I got older that it was literally almost every day that it's just what I eat. It's just what I'm used to, it's what I know. You know, like it's just my life. Well, you know, there seems to be an arms race these days with all these pizzas, outrageous ones, ones that have crust made out of ramen noodles or dessert Damn. style pizzas with Nutella and marshmallows. Oh, yeah, so what I, I wanna that. do is show you some crazy examples of pizzas. Uh -huh. And I just wonder, maybe you're into it, maybe you're not. Maybe some of these you've even tried. So this first one is a $2,000 pizza. It's made with black truffles, caviar, and squid ink dough. Covered in gold flakes? Mm-hmm, gold flakes. $2,000 for that pizza. That shit is ugly. Yes, <laughs> fuck. Man, that pizza look like a, like, a, like a bowl of cornflakes with a bunch of bullshit in it. I don't know why people think like since they raised the price on it, it's making somebody want to try it. All right, up next, we have a Mexican pizza from Tony Bologna's in New Jersey. It's topped with 16 tacos and guacamole. That's dope. I don't eat tacos, so I wouldn't try it, but, but it looks dope, it looks cool. This is a Pop Rocks and cotton candy pizza. That's fire. Definitely would try that. You're into that. Yeah. That, that, that makes my cavities tingle. <laughs> You don't even wait, you just go. You just go in. Like I just, like I watch and I watch how slow other people do it, then you do it so fast. Like, yo, his insides must be scrambled. Yeah, you have no idea. Yeah, man. You have no idea. God bless you. All right. Mm. I'm curious about your perspective when it comes to the internet and its ability to make a song pop. And if you want to talk about examples, maybe Callion Fox featuring okay. One Night in that video, or you have Shiggy, who's credited with really helping Drake's In My Feelings yeah. get catapulted to a Billboard number one hit. The thing about that, and I feel like rappers don't, they fail to realize, is that you can't force it. Like when Callion Fox, who I've always given credit to, uh, you know, made that video that went viral for one night with the stoplight and all that. I never heard of him. I never met him before. I didn't, like, I didn't pay him to do that. He didn't know it was gonna blow up. It was just like some shit he did, and it and it was massive. Along with Shiggy, Drake didn't know Shiggy. You know, he might know who he was, but he didn't ask him to do that. Labels didn't ask him to do that. Like a skit with a song featured in it may help you realize, wow, that's a good song. Or a visual make you may help you realize, wow, I never knew how good the song was. You know, it's it's weird. You know, I don't know. But I do know that these are amazing. That was so good. You like that one? Wow. I'm sorry, brother. That was I don't I don't eat much. You know what I'm saying? So when I when some shit is good and new, it's like, what is this? It's a you whole know? new world for you, Yadi. Yeah, no, this is really good. I don't like onions, but I'll try it. I was curious about hot sauce. Oh, 
Oh. Mmm. <laughs> new ground. Breaking new ground over here. I was always curious about, you know, like how does hot sauce work? Like growing up, I used to wanna like, if you touched it, was it hot? You know, like, <laughs> like I didn't know if it was on tongue situation or in the throat situation. Like I just never knew, but I felt like the second I, I bit that, something happened. Some hell broke loose. Yeah. So you once described winning a battle royale as giving you as much joy as losing your virginity. I know that you take gaming very seriously, so I'm curious. Is there a game or franchise that you think is best for sampling and hip hop beats? Without a thought, Super Mario. They make their own sound. You know, like 2K and like Madden, they just get music from other artists, but they orchestrate their own music and it has this organic, natural sound that just like sounds like Mario. When you think of all the times you've squared off against fans or randos on the internet with the headset, are there any stories that stand out? Actually, for the first time not too long ago, I got a person to be like, like an asshole. Like usually people are actually pretty happy, but the first time, for the first time I was playing the game, I was long on it, was like, dude, you fucking suck. Like I hate you, like your music is shit. And I was like refreshed. I was like, this is how Xbox is supposed to be, you know? You just get straight into it, man. You're savage. All right. You know, all these flavors. Oh. Yeah. You ever seen a cartoon where, like, you see the steam come out of their nose? Mm hmm. I feel it. You know? feel it, but it's good. It's you really like good. it. But the crazy shit is it's so like, it's such heat. And like, you don't taste, like I don't taste anything but heat. But it seems like you're taking to the hot sauce a little bit, at least this yeah, way. Yeah, I still don't think I'll ever eat it again. <laughs> but <laughs> it's definitely good, this shit's good as fuck. So your career has taken off way beyond music. You're one of the Wait, most- real quick, if I drink sure. water, does that mean I, I lost? No, 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 no. There's no rules. It's not like the Olympics. It's just, it's here if you need it. It's here if you want it. But it doesn't you know, make me no a pussy, right? It doesn't make you a pussy. I passed. No, yes, it does. <laughs> Fuck it. We're gonna do this. We're here. What do you remember about modeling Kanye West Yeezy season three at Madison Square Garden? That's the first big thing I ever did. Um, so in the beginning, it was a curtain over us. And we were standing on the pillars. And I was in the back. I was in the, you know, the like the lineup. I was in the very, I was actually at the very back. I was the last one and behind everybody. And last minute, the lady, producer, the producer was talking to somebody about to tell them to go up. He was like, no, you need to go up there to somebody else. And I was really just being nosy. I said, hey, um, uh, my hair's red. Don't you think I should be in the front? And she looked at me, said, yeah, you go. And then I was like, yeah. And then the dude had to stand in the back. He looked at me crazy. And I was like, yeah. And I ran to the front. Just did it right before and then went off and I was standing there. And I never sat down. It was cool, you know? And from there, that's when my career started. So this next one is Los Calientes. All right, Yadi, you have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Gram, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. So I'll bust out the laptop again. I'll show you the picture, then you tell me the bigger story. Does that sound good? Okay. All right, laptop, please. How you doing, my man? That's hot. Hanging in there a little bit? That's hot. Welcome to this show. Welcome to the hot sauce world over here. Feels like if you let your tongue hang out in the air. It'll be a little bit better? Yeah. That's not it. At all. What can you tell the people about your 21st birthday at Sparkles Family Fun Center between the mariachi band and the Ferrari? It looked like a good time. That's the best. That was probably the best day of my life, man. I never, I never had. I've had a party, a couple parties in my life, but I've always been scared to have a party because you never know who's gonna come, you know. And my mother and my managers and my my team, my label, they just made sure that I really had a great time. I work so hard and I do so much and like, it's rare that I feel like anybody ever cares, you know? Like, I don't know, it's just, it's just, you get, it's a lot. But on that day, man, I felt so much love and it was crazy. I was, that's, that'll forever be the best day of my life. Where do you think you got a better fit off? The tuxedo jacket at Jimmy Kimmel or the white on white at the Met Gala? <laughs> that was Jeremy Scott, yo, I'm such, I've been such a fan of Jeremy Scott growing up. 
the designer, it's so nice. And he chose me to come with him to um, Met Gala, which is a big deal, mm -hmm. you know, for me to be able to be there. And he dressed me so dope, like a, like a, like a slave master. You know, it was excellent. I looked like the baddest slave master of all time. It was so cool. I felt good, and I had this eyeglass in my pocket. And I, I was either the slave master or. The Kentucky the, Fried Chicken guy. Well, Colonel Sanders. Also a slave master. So like the way Monopoly it goes, guy. You know, exactly. Probably like, also. Also a slave master, exactly. <laughs> it was another one of the highlights of my life. I just be like, wow, I've done something. You know, so it was good. It was fun. You ready to move on? Yeah, I appreciate the break you give me before we go into the next one. There's a pace to hot ones, you know? Yeah, it's intense. Assam, Clark and Hopkins. Does it ever phase you? So, I'm human, you know, I'm no superhero. The sauces, they hit me, but what it really comes down to is it's better than having a real job. <laughs> Word. So I just hold it down over here, you That's know? how I think sometimes, like when I get upset <laughs> at certain things, it's like, man, I could definitely be doing something else, so. You know, I have my little fit and then I get to it. So be grateful, be yep. grateful. Mm-hmm. So for casual observers and hip hop media, I think one of the most amusing flare ups in recent memory was Yachty versus the old guard, whether it was calling up 97 to go toe to toe with Ebro, or of course that iconic showdown with Joe <laughs> Budden on the set of Everyday Struggle. That's Why the fuck you care? Because, well, my nigga, it's like, that's kind of weird. I think if I see it, I'm like, ah, you know, that's why. So, say for example, man, you, you guys are it, fucking it good. I, I don't really, I don't, boy, you could tap this. Yo, this shit was so hot, I really didn't hear the people you named, but I know my beefs, so I know. Well, as far as Ebro, I learned a lot from that situation. A uh, shit ton, because I learned how to deal with people, how to deal with those type of situations, and I learned a lot about myself. So then it made me go hard, like I started doing my, my I started getting my deals and campaigns and started working with all these <laughs> It's like it leaves and comes back. Right. <coughs> it's like, <coughs> it's like. Careful around your eyes, Yachty. Oh, yeah. I don't want to make the problem work. Yo, it's like it sneaks mm -hmm. back. Yeah. I knew me and Ebro wasn't cool or to the public, and, and I called him, like, yo, let's meet again. You know, I know my first freestyle wasn't the best. I want to do it again, you know? And who's the other person you named? Joe Budden. Joe Budden. I, me and Joe Budden got into it. We like all this fun shit. I don't want to hear me in the fucking club. I, I don't think you're speaking for all the old niggas right now. They don't Man. like you. And that one, you know, I really, I looked like the like the good guy in that one because he was just like hating, you know, like he looked really bitter, you know. But uh, I didn't have a problem with Joe Biden. I never did. It's love. I get so much love. I don't really get bothered by it. You know whether you in a 360 or not, I want you to appreciate the culture that changed your life oh. and took you from college dorm room eating fucking oodles and noodles. I want you who's well-spoken and articulates himself well. My nigga. Chill. Yeah, hold on. Yo. Fire water. I was too big of a bite. Oh my God! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah. I had a feeling that that was gonna be a game changer. <sighs> oh shit! Find it, my man. Find it, my man. Yo, this is the devil snack. Yeah. Oh, my mouth is burning. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, Lil Yachty. Well, over the last couple of years, the city of Atlanta, it's had these watershed moments from its artists dominating the Billboard charts to Donald Glover stacking Golden Globes. So what I want to do is give you a few hallmarks of the Atlanta brand, and you can weigh in on the perception versus the reality. Hot Lana. Is that something that people from Atlanta say, or is that just something for idiots who've never stepped foot in Georgia? Hot Lana is some like 1990s, 1980s freak Nick type shit that my mom used to say when she was young and wasn't my mom. 
Niggas don't say Hotlanta no more. People always talk about how Atlanta has the best strip clubs. Is that true? Mm hmm. Ah, they get booty butt naked. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Houston has a, a, a nice selection of strip clubs, too. Tim's are synonymous with New York. If you go to the DMV, maybe you'll see New Balance 990s all over the place. Is there a sneaker that's quintessentially Atlanta? Air Forces. Yeah, I think so. And then your driveway has been getting pretty crowded lately. What do you think is your most Atlanta car? My Hellcat, my Dodge Charger Hellcat. And uh, it's just like some Atlanta shit. You know, you don't really see a lot of niggas getting Hellcats like how we do. It's an Atlanta thing, for a fact. God. Yeah. This is a very brave thing that you're doing. Oh, that's the most hot, hot, hottest shit you've ever had in your life. In my entire realm of breathing air. Until possibly now. <sighs> Yo, this shit looks scary. Yeah. And this is the one people really be freaking out over. Like, Michael Cero's like, this is the one. As I can attest. Fuck it, we here. Man. We're here, man. We are here. <laughs> I'm scared. Like, I wouldn't. I'm a. All right, all right, all right. Baptism by fire. Looking at a changed man over here. And Yachty would not be a first we feast interview unless we did a swan dive into the lyrics of your latest project. So what I wanna do is take a few highlights off of nothing to prove, and you can give me the deeper makes meaning the water hot. behind the lyrics, okay? This first one is off your song, Everything Good, Everything Right. I just spent 8,000 to play Sega Used to oh be broke God. using food stamps at bodegas. What's the story behind oh. spending eight grand to play second? Oh. I want to answer that question so bad. My tongue. guy who makes these arcade systems. He puts every single system ever made on it. Is that ice cream? Oh my God. Careful around your eyes, Yachty. Ah, oh, fuck, this shit is so hot. I feel like I'm burning all my taste buds yeah. with a flame torch. Oh, you, you, you gotta be fucked up if you think I'm finishing. I am still trying to recover. How dare you? Oh my God, we should've stayed on the right side, closer to the handle. Her body is shaking. Mm -hmm. I'm not even being dramatic right now. No, I know. It's a whole thing. And Yachty, you're a newborn to the hot sauce game, you know? And nobody their first time eating hot sauce should do it on hot ones. But you're just a brave person. Yo, my mouth is fucking on fire. I 
This is an intense interview, dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's no way I'm gonna make it to the end of that. I'm gonna keep it real. I can't. I'm not doing it, man. I, I, and I'm done. Oh, that's really hot. Oh my God. My body is acting up right now. Like it's just doing crazy things on the inside. I this lost. Is, you did not lose. There's no such thing as losing. It's not a competition. You push yourself as hard as you can go. And then we let the chips fall where they may. This is the last dab, okay? We call it the last dab because it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing. You don't have to if you don't want to, Lil Yachty. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. All right, Yachty, here we are at the last stop aboard the hot sauce pain train. We've taken on the wings of death, eight wings up, eight wings down, two still on the board, but nothing to sneeze at, and you still have a smile on your face. Sort of. Which is very little Yachty. You've been someone who's been described as relentlessly optimistic, a light, a breath of fresh air. So as we close it out, I'm curious, what is your advice for the people who should be living with their head in the clouds rather than those who are wallowing in the mud? Yo, my body is twitching. Fuck. <laughs> um, just be yourself, man. You know, like that shit is important. And fuck what people think, bro. It's hard to get to the level of fuck what people think, you know, because, you know, genuinely, Unless you are completely satisfied with your life completely, it's hard to just ignore what people say. But fuck what people think, bro. Nobody can live your life but you, you know? Well, that's the truth if I've ever heard it. And look at you, Lil Yachty. First time trying hot sauce and it's here on Hot Ones. There's nothing I'd rather do than roll out the red carpet for you, my man. This camera, this camera, or this camera, let the people know what you have going on in your life. Well, nothing to prove, just drop on all streaming services. Make sure you go get it, if you love it, I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know, that's all I got for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, my man, Good job. This show ain't no joke. No. Mm-mm. Ain't no joke about this show. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Okay, I'm almost with you. Take your time, my man. Mm. Hey, what's going on, Spice Lords? I know you're wondering, why is he shaking that bottle? Why is he shaking that bottle? It's because I'm excited to announce that the last dab Redux is available now. The last dab with chocolate pepper X and pepper X. You've seen your favorite celebrities dabbing wings on the show, and now you can dab your wings at home. Heatness.com, heatness.com to order. Who appreciates you, Spice Lords? Me.